Okay then, I want to speak about Charles Leclerc. I want to ask the question. I think I've already answered it for myself, but this is the question I was asking. Does Charles Leclerc have what it takes to become a world champion? A multiple world champion? Because I do think he has what it takes to become a champion as long as he's everything goes his way and he gets an easy championship. So to, so to speak, I don't know if there is an easy championship because drivers put pressure on themselves to get the best and they have to be in good shape in order to be able to do what they do. So it might look easy to us, but I don't think any championship is really easy. Even 2022 for um, Max Verstappen, it might look like an easy championship for him to win, but I bet it wasn't easy for him as a person to go out there and and drive with all the pressure that's on him because he's still got pressure on him from Abu Dhabi he's got a lot to prove so it, I bet it wasn't easy for Max even though it's easy now he's done it you look back he's blasted it it was easy but I bet it wasn't actually easy but this is the only kind of championship I think Charles Leclerc could win and this is why in Japan I'm going to show the footage in Japan at the start of the race Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen go into the first corner. The first turn, right? Charles Leclerc is ahead. But Max Verstappen outbreaks him and goes around him on the outside. Now, Charles Leclerc got done on the outside. I know Max's car is better than um, Leclerc's. But, but, he just got done on the outside, man. First turn. And if you don't, do something in this race to stop Max winning, your championship fight is over. In Charles Leclerc's head, being the age that he is, I don't think there's any other champions that have been out there, any other champions that are out there that are the same age as Charles Leclerc would have driven how Charles Leclerc did. They would have, they would have done more. This, I know the championship was basically over, but it's mathematically over, Charles, if you don't do something. And what happened? is he got done by Max Verstappen, his rival, around the outside. Now, I'm not a racer, but I'm pretty sure getting done around the outside is a little bit of a, come on, man. It's a bit of, bit of a kick in the teeth, man. It's like getting megged in football. It's like getting nutmegged, getting done around the outside. That's why when you see Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton, when he went around the outside, Fernando Alonso was having none of it. If Fernando was being respectable, like Leclerc was, then he would have yielded a little bit. But it was Lewis Hamilton and he's got a bit of a problem. So there's no way that he was going to get done around the outside without something coming of it. So he didn't yield because it did him on the outside. And look what, look, look, look at the outcome. Nobody blamed him. Nobody blamed Fernando Alonso for not yielding, for not for not allowing that to happen to him. He put 100% in. He didn't want to get done around the outside because it's like getting nutmegged in football. But look at Charles Leclerc. He allowed it to happen. He should have done all he could. He should have done all he possibly could. He had the inside line. Run him wide. Outbreak him. Outbreak yourself. If, you're, if you don't do something this race, your championship fight is over and you gave it to him you made it easy even if the car's better do something look at Lewis Hamilton and um, Nico Rosberg look at Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg when they were battling if someone tried to do the other one on the outside there was probably going to be contact because it's a kick in the teeth it's, it's a little bit embarrassing, depending on the situation. But when you're a title fighter, well, yeah, when you're fighting for the title and you've got the same machinery, getting done around the outside, you never want that to happen. Now, I know Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen didn't have the same machinery, but in the back of Charles Leclerc's mind, it should have been Max Verstappen that was weary. Charles Leclerc should have been going for it, 100%. Max Verstappen should have been wary. He should, he should be the one that's yielding a little bit. Hold on. 
I need to get maximum points from this if I want to win this today. But Max didn't. Max went for it. He went for it. And Leclerc didn't. Leclerc didn't. So I'm asking the question now. Has Leclerc even really got it in him to be a real good champion? Because champions at the age of Charles Leclerc, they would not, they would not have given that place up. They wouldn't. I don't know, I can think back to the old champions and any champion that I think of, put them in Charles Leclerc's car in that situation on that day and they are not letting Max pass like that. They're not doing it. It's either we both go off or whatever, but you're not doing me on the outside on the first corner when I've just got my nose ahead of you. I'm ahead of you. I'm going to let you outbreak me and go around the outside. Not a chance. Not a chance. So... I'll answer my own question, you answer it too. Has Charles Leclerc really got it in him to be a world champion in Formula One? All right, I'm out of here.